Really, um, shifting to the coast. Yeah. Big move. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty much the same as home. Live on the west coast of Taranaki. Uh, the boys are similar. Not joking. <laughs> 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 um, it's good fun. I like the hunting. I like um, going hunting for the deer. It's really cool. Yeah. And, uh, and look, looking after, looking after Dad there with uh, as he flies away with all the tourists. Yeah, yeah. I um, just make sure everything's in check <laughs> that he doesn't forget things. But he, look, he won't. Now I enjoyed your safety briefing. I thought that was very professional. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and a big thing nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We take that uh, safety very seriously because. They are quite dangerous, like, if you accidentally went round the back end of them, so i do my best to ensure everyone's alright. And uh, now, look, you were saying before that uh, you're looking at becoming a professional pilot. Yeah, i um, slowly been ticking away at it. Um, I've got two exams and about 50 hours left for my commercial. Oh, congratulations. Oh, good on you. Thank you. Private pilot's licence is done, so now yeah, I'm just going to finish off the rest of my licence. Yeah. Well, you got a good teacher there. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Stunning. This is the Wilkinson Glacier. We're looking at it straight through the front of the aircraft there at the moment. It's hanging right over the side. I can't get over the colours. So Matt's just taking us round. I'm going to, we've climbed up to the level of the glacier and now it looks like we're going to head across the top of it. It is sheer ice and the blue, the blue inside the crevasses is just absolutely beautiful. Now it's quite unique because the Wilkinson is a very short flying time from the Ramsey and you'd be amazed how close we are to Fox and France and uh, Mount Cook which Matt and his team are flying people to as well. It's a, it's a huge glacier. Now the people before us saw a couple of magnificent stags in velvet, went down, had a look at them. Look at these great, magnificent sheets of snow. The Southern Alps of New Zealand. Over to the right is Mount Evans. And of course, we're at the top end of the Waitar Valley. You know, when you're flying up here, Matt, you really do feel that you're the only person that's ever been here. Now, we're heading around the tops at the moment, and there's a bit of cloud over there. Look at that for a view. That's just, that's just absolutely magnificent. And down through that misty cloud there is Lake Ivory. And part of uh, Matt and Lily's tour is you, get, you actually get to go down and have a look at it. So we'll we'll descend from here. You'll see we're descending at the moment. We're going down through the valley. Look at the colour of Lake Ivory. It's quite quite neat. And there's a hut. You can just see it in the middle of the screen at the moment at the bottom. Now to those coasters that want to know exactly where we are, we're actually at the head of the Waitar Valley. 
quite a valley. Depends on which way you, uh, what you call it. Now this is where the Alpine Fault is lifted up and you've got absolute bare bedrock. Now I don't know how often the the ice at the end there melts but it was only two months ago and this was blanketed in ice three months ago it was blanketed in ice and the lake was fully frozen over a very dynamic environment we're in so we're cutting around now we're gonna we're gonna head along the side of the lake oh just beautiful look at this Now what I'm picking, I, I've never landed here before, but I'm, I'm picking that we're going to land at the end of the lake. Matt will probably uh, place us down there. And he's, he's told me that he's going to have a look at a an alpine hut somewhere, and that he'll be back to pick us up. Certainly hope he does. There's the hut straight ahead of us. I'm going to go and have a look at that, but quite fascinating. And we're on the ground at uh, Lake Ivory. Folks, up the head of the White Ar Valley at uh, Ivory Lake. Really well maintained hut. 